Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Uh, well, it's cast time once again. And, um, and this music, it, I don't think I've played this particular one before, but I think I have played, uh, I played a box upon in one of my casts. Can't remember which one. Um, I'm just going with this one here because it was the, it was the first one that came up. Or actually, no, let me rephrase that. There was another, um, there was another Stoner Rock instrumental that I was wanting to play, but come to find out later that it wasn't an instrumental at all and they're singing in it. So I had a, I had a deep six that one and then find another one. So I just went with this one. Oh, it's, um, it's a pox upon and how the garden grows. It's a uh, forest, forest synth and dungeon synth. Oh, and um, and I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy pomegranate blueberry flavored. So get ready for some pops. Okay, so didn't didn't quite have a great night, but uh, better than yesterday. I mean, I still did, I, I still did some just sitting around watching TV and then took like a one hour nap and then back to this again. So, but not as bad. I only did it like maybe a few times. So. Yeah. Um, otherwise... Uh, played a fair amount of Gems of War. Um, this is pretty much the game I'm streaming now. Um, if for no, if for no other reason than um, the game I used to play, uh, City Skylines, I just got sick and tired of all the loading times from that game. You know, whether going to the main menu or going to the game itself, you usually, usually got to sit and wait a few minutes. Um... To say nothing of the fact that um, what um, when you got too much going on at once, or in my case, when my city gets too big, um, it's where just to be able to do something on it, I have to pause the game first, otherwise the game starts lagging. Because, like I said, I mean, e even then, it's it's not like my city is like super massive or anything, but it's still big enough to warrant me having to having to pause the game just to do any kind of interaction. But, um, but yeah, it's, but a Gems of War is not a, not that fun of a game for me. Um, it's, I think I said this yesterday too, it's, um, too RNG heavy. It's like, um, and not to mention, I think, um, I looked this up on, uh, on TV tropes. Apparently, uh, the computer does cheat, especially in the uh, higher levels. Like, it'll start, uh. It'll start dropping gems that uh that favor it and not you, so. But uh, it's gotten to where um. And pro possibly because I'm getting better at using OBS. I've actually started adding a couple gifts, like um. Like whenever something goes horribly wrong, and you know maybe instead of me saying "buckle" all the time, you know just toss a gif out there instead. And, um, I have, um, and I have both of them hotkeyed, but that's also the other problem I got. But, see what y'all, cause when, um, when using, um, when using hotkeys on OBS, they're all universal. They're applied throughout my entire computer. So, I mean, I've, if I don't, if I don't if I don't disable them in OBS, I could be like playing another game where I use hotkeys and accidentally like I pr you know. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I I forgot to I forgot to turn the hotkeys on. As, as you can probably hear. 
Yeah, so. But yeah, I got, I gotta, I gotta remember to put to turn them on here probably after this cast is over. Um, but yeah, you know, there was also one other thing that I wanted to show. I totally forgot to do this earlier. So I'll go ahead and just, um, I'll go ahead and show it now. This is going to be a moment. Actually, no, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, so let me, uh, let me slide this over. I'm, uh, I'm doing some browser Olympics right now, so I'm just trying to get this set up. I forgot to do this earlier. My brain kind of farted. Cool. I didn't have to chase it down or anything. The only thing I do have to do... I saw this, um... I saw this article earlier. Yeah, I think it was like sometime yesterday. Um, but uh, it I don't I don't really want to go into a whole lot of detail in this article, but uh, huh? She ain't on here. Okay, but um, it's an article written by Jessica Wildfire. She's um, I think she's an activist. She's um, she's a college professor, uh, blogger, and a writer, but um. And she, she actually, uh, the title is I'm, I'm Afraid of Americans, and there's actually a song about it. Uh, it's, it's written by David Bowie. Uh, no one needs anyone. They don't even just pretend. But uh, he's, he's, he kinda, he's the kind of artist that kind of goes over my head. I mean, I don't, I don't hate him. I mean, he doesn't suck or anything, but on the other hand, I don't. I don't exactly go out of my way to listen to his music either, especially when most of his music is already played at Walmart Radio. So I really don't he I don't need to hear him any more than I already do. So, but anyway, um, but apparently this song was actually pretty was pretty prophetic because America's pretty angry right now. And uh, whatever um, one of her previous articles, she plans on quitting the teacher position. Because uh, she's 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 pretty much trounced over now. Like she asked uh, some of the conservative Southern students that she's got, they refuse to wear a mask. And um, I guess these days, it's it's less it's less because um oh how did how did she say it? They these days they do it now just to do it just to be a bunch of assholes like it isn't it is not any kind of like political or philosophical reasons these days now it's just because they can yeah that two years after that song came out the Columbine shooting happened and then a couple years after that I freaking hate it there we go but yeah, a couple years after that, 9-11 happened. We've been at war. Stop it. We've been at war ever since. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna play this video because I don't want to get a... I don't want this uh, cast getting flagged for copyright. But yeah, pretty much, uh, I think, I got, basically, anger is pretty much woven into the fabric of America now. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, um, because I don't, I, because I don't have a whole lot of stuff, didn't have a whole lot of stuff to say, um, this, this here, I just threw in at the last minute, but it really is an awesome article. But this is something that um, 
I would rather... I would rather you guys read personally than to have me uh, dictate it for you. Oh, yeah. Here it was. But um, our national hero is a guy named Joe who talks about fighting and then goes to a man cave where he interviews white supremacists and conspiracy theorists and treats them like experts. <laughs> she, she freaking nailed it too. Um, I used to I used to love watching Joe Rogan until um until he got bought out by Spotify, and now he has like he had like a whole new look and everything. And um after that I don't I don't really care for him that much now. So but but yeah, like I said, my um again I I used to watch the shit out of his program, like all the different guests that he had on. But um, ever since he uh, ever since he he uh, transitioned to a whole new look, um, the whole feel, for lack of a better word, feel of his show, it just wasn't there anymore. But yeah, it road rage. Apparently. And this was something else, too. Um, Road Rage, apparently, is uh, exclusively here in America. No other country... At least according to this article, no other country in this world... No other country in this uh, in the world has, has, this, has this concept. Although, I... I wouldn't... I wouldn't hotly contest it. Yeah, because, I mean... The planet is populated by human beings, and as long as there's cars, there's going to be some form of road rage involved. But I do definitely under, I do definitely get what she means. I mean, it, road rage is is far less common in any other country, save here. But um, I think this also ties in to those that have seen my uh, or those that have listened to my other casts. Hang on, I forgot to look at something. Okay, so it is updating along with me, all right. <clears throat> but it's, um, hang on, I've lost my place. But, it, um, but those that have, uh, heard my other casts, I mention, uh, Strong Towns a lot. I mention, um, not just bikes, they're, uh, YouTube channels. But, basically, our infrastructure is a major clusterfuck, but... It's, for the most part, it seems we almost have a habit. It seems we almost have a Texas mentality when it comes to roads. When it comes, you know, when it comes to infrastructure. I mean, we got, we have parking lots that are bigger than the actual buildings themselves. Um, this country is very, very car dependent. You know, we're also very suburb heavy, unlike a lot of other countries in this world. So I think, um, I think our road rage in this country kind of ties in to our um, our um, development style. Again, uh, it's 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 car dependent. It's car dependent. Everything's big. You know, big box stores, big strip malls, big parking lots. Um, you know, you know, big ride road. I was gonna say big ride roads. No, big wide roads. You know that kind of thing. Whereas um. I know the Netherlands is one place, but I'm sure a lot of other countries are like it too. Um, a lot of the places over there are very walkable. There's just as many, if not more, bike path or bikes and uh, walking paths as there are actual roads and streets. And back when I played City Skylines, um, when playing seriously, um, my my building patterns were centered on that. Um, I had probably just as many uh, walking paths in my city as I did um, actual roads. So I try to make my city a very walkable place. But I, but um, I'm kind of see I'm kind of again I'm kind of seeing I'm kind of seeing road rage being tied in and how we uh and how our infrastructure is and um. If I'd have known I was going to talk about this, 
I would have I would have prepared for this better, but I am totally completely improvising here. Um, but uh, the book that I got a few weeks ago, Strong Towns, um, the the guy kind of mentions this as well. It's basically an infrastructure cult that we have. You know, again, lots of parking lots, lots of big wide roads and all that. Um, but a lot of politicians often bring up infrastructure too. It's basically solving their problems by throwing more money at it. But he was saying that uh, we don't, at least if I understood it correctly, it's it's not it's not infrastructure that we need. It's the right kind of infrastructure. You know, it's it, it's kind of a paradox. Um, more roads means more cars. Means more roads mean or wider more slash wider roads means more traffic jams because more people are going to want to drive on them. So yeah, it's kind of a paradox. We're putting out a fire with gasoline. So, but kind of, kind of enough on that. Billionaires pay politicians to well tell working class white people to get angry at everybody besides them. Okay, and I think this is as far as I got when I was uh, reading this article. I got, I got, I got this far, and then um, I just bookmarked it and went off and did something else. Okay, so I'll, I'll just call it good here on the article. But um, uh, but otherwise, otherwise um. Didn't really, um, I didn't really try to, I didn't really, um, uh, excuse me, I didn't really try anything new out, so I'm still, still making fairly, um, uh, still using media source, um, image, browser, um, I'm using a little mixture of all of them, um, and, um, window capture, the, the one that I actually used for this article here. Is pretty much the only one, uh, the only time I've used window capture in a long time. Now it's all uh, media source, image, and browser. So it seems to me that I'm actually getting better and better at this. So I've also learned. Uh, I think I said this yesterday too. I've learned to cut and trim some of these images because some of them will come with these big, huge black borders, and uh, I have to like. I have to like uh, tweak the uh, the dimensions and stuff to get rid of them. Um, and still using this again. Um, I took just just taking clip, just taking game clips, or taking like a uh, gameplay footage. Oh, and I forgot to mention, let me back up. I totally forgot to mention this last night, but uh, my pinball session, um, it, it was just a little quickie one. Um, just went on FX3, did a few, uh, did a few matchups, a few tourneys. Um, then I did a couple table requests. Um, one of them wanted me to play Pasha, so I played that for him. Another one, another one wanted me to play Black Hole, the classic table. Um, I played that for him, for that guy as well. So, but it was just, it was like just a brief 45 minute session. Didn't want to get too invested in it. So, but. Damn, that sounds pretty cool. I might actually like this. Or, I might like this video. It's pretty cool stuff. Oh, 
Oh, and I also learned, um, I learned about copying and pasting as well. You can actually do that on OBS. So let me, um, well, let me go ahead and do that. There we go. Um, but, but otherwise, um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, I've said all the things I wanted to say and then some, and so, so yeah, um, but otherwise, here, let me, let me go ahead and stop it there. It's getting a little distracting. Um, uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for, excuse me, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, this is my last pseudo cast, so... My work week does start up. So yeah, I go back to work today, tomorrow, and Friday. So you probably, you probably, assuming I don't call in, that's always a possibility. Um, you probably won't be hearing from me again until probably Sunday morning. So, but um, until, but um, until then, no. Thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Well, bye for now.